Yeah, hello from IBC. My name is Michael Blesser. I work for Ever Technology in Germany as an application specialist. And today I'm going to show you the new features in Avid 6.5. And I'm particularly looking at the features in the timeline. So with version 6.5, you get a couple of new features and some are specific to the timeline. So for example, what I like is, I don't know if you know that from the old days, if you're in the timeline and you have to change your title. So for example, here, I want to change the color of the with Avid. What I had to do in the past is I open up my effect editor and I need to use to find that little edit title button. So we make it much more easier now. So even a white mouse click here, um, I find a new command that's called edit title. So that will open up the title window for me and I can go very simple in here and adjust the color of my title. Save that back to my timeline. What you could do in the past is pretty easily to do a selection of multiple tracks and then move them around. I can do that, of course, either with the yellow or with the red arrow. I can take them. What never worked in the timeline is if you do a multi-selection of independent tracks or independent sequence, I have to say. So I can select these guys, these guys, these guys, and now I can move them all around, all together. One idea to use that is, for example, if you want to use the real-time effects to create an equalization effect in the timeline, you can multi-select your elements that you want to use, simply track them down to the other track and use that track as a real-time audio effect. And I don't know if you ever run in a situation where you do a, a nice automation gain on one track and just to find out that you forget to activate the second track. So now there's an easy way around that now. I can go into my timeline, I can select my keyframe, and there's a new command here which is called select all keyframes in segment. So I've selected them all to uh, command C to copy it, select the new track and paste it in again. Of course you can use the same functionality to copy uh, the selected keyframes to a different area so I get a nice little automation gain on my both tracks that I want to use. Thank you for your time and um, if you want to get more information, please visit avid.com slash IBC.